Hello friends, hope you are doing well. Welcome to another episode. In this episode, we are going to learn SQL uh, for business analysis job role. So I have to be very honest with you. I don't know how, where to start. I have used SQL in my, my career as a software developer and when I was managing projects uh, for different clients. Understanding SQL was required because that is how you can manage database, you can manipulate it. It is the language to talk with a database. This is a primary understanding. But academically, if you want to learn this uh, skill, like you want to be an expert in SQL, so how to uh, start. And here, I also want to get some relevance of SQL with business analytics job role. Nowadays, this job role is very uh, popular you need some soft skill you need some hard skill to become a business analyst in your career so and among the soft skill of course you need good communication good understanding uh, for that we are preparing different kind of video on project management uh, business analysis uh, 101 uh, we have different kind of uh, long videos uh, in this channel you can check out this and it is uh, just like a conversation it is just like a live streaming kind of video we are no too we are not using too much editing just trying to gather information from the internet and trying to learn it uh, so the best important thing for learning such skill is a proper roadmap what is the proper roadmap so here i have to use my uh, chat gpt as a source for understanding the roadmap and let's see on our screen so i asked a prompt let me make the screen size a little bigger so that you can view it clearly and along with that we can also continue the discussion uh, so i'm make, making it a little less okay now i think it is visible so i asked you that, that you act as a data scientist and provide me some beginner level guide on how to learn SQL for data scientist job role or a business analyst job role. So in answer, a chat GPT has provided some points and let's see what are these points. The major points are understanding the basics, step setup and environment, learn SQL syntax, master on select statement, understand the joins, grouping and uh, array aggregations uh, data modification then sub queries and uh, derived table data analysis skills practice and resources advanced concepts are optional so basically that prompt has provided me 10 major areas or 11 major areas where we need to focus on so you know first first of all you need an environment so that there is a database installed on your pc and you can apply some sql query there so i am using the software laragon this software actually allow uh, this software is a package that has my sql database installed my sql is a kind of sql database which is open source free of cost you can install it on your pc and uh, then you can use different kind of tools like php my admin or uh, microsoft workbench uh, for accessing this database so here in this particular video uh, let us find a database a very popular database is free database is northwind database so northwind database you can download it from this website um, wikiuniversity.org and here you can create this database using the sql queries so here the basic sql queries is written there it is creating a database and then then it is creating some table and inside this table there are some columns so i hope you have that basic idea so here we are logging to our local database root and say user and password let us create one database uh, say database name is say, not it 
not to int 101 just for uniqueness of this data uh, so or i am giving a unique name not to int 101 and here i can use any so i'm using just uh, c8 colors is letting general ci or you can just keep it uh, default no problem okay create it now the database is created database is empty right now and let me check the database is empty here is the sql command so here we can copy paste this sql command mm. So we don't need the first line we don't need this line as well because we there is no we're just creating this table and inserting this data simply copy and paste it's a very long database i can see okay up to the commit copy Place this SQL here, and here you just click on format. It's taking some time, and it is formatted. Here, one thing is listing. Minting is disabled for the query um, because it exists the maximum length. Okay, so it is too much in length. So better we can do first. We are creating the table and then we'll insert the data so these are the table or what we can do we can copy this thing in a uh, notepad file simple and uh, save it as a sql file that is also another process like save this on the desktop format or say test dot sql save okay now uh, this is a sql file very small i can import it here go to i'm clearing everything go to import section okay and choose the file from here and import okay successfully imported very good there is no error we can see a lot of records are there category customers employee order details products suppliers shippers etc and the data are also imported categories there are eight categories with description so we have a database right now now let us connect this with workbench so a connection is there and uh, where is this database we see the server status here so server is connected right now and uh, these we can see the database where database connection connect to database this is how you can connect to your local server or your live server and just examine the whole section how you can use a different type of queries uh, this is the test connection cancel let's start from the beginning it is easily downloadable free uh, software so different in this section you, if you click on the schema section you can see the databases 
that is connected to this work branch. Now our database is not twinned. Not twinned has table. So many tables. Click on the category. You can view semicolon for ending this then run it is showing the first 10 columns or 8 columns 8 wrappers are there now this is a little bit smaller there is no way to increase the font size i have to check the option for increasing the font size or the preferences Difference from this part of the tutorial, we understood the basics how to connect the database to your workbench and running some SQL query for viewing the data from the database. Now, let's move to a little bit advanced. So, what we did, we already set up an environment and we connected it to the workbench, and now we need to learn the syntax of SQL, which is very important. So as a data analyst or data scientist, you will encounter data from any sources and those data will use SQL because SQL is the language of uh, manipulating the data. Understanding the source system from where the data is coming, then uh, how you can manipulate these, these are very important. So suppose there is a project where you need to uh, analyze your data that that data is in SQL format then you can easily uh, install that data on your server and then connect it with your work branch and then you can use SQL for accessing different tables data source uh, can be stored in many forms and that structure it is true that there are uh, different types of data like MySQL, SQL, MS SQL, uh, then Oracle, different types of data. Don't be worried with uh, the data type first because generally most of the data are in SQL format and uh, that's why if you get confident on this particular language, you can easily manipulate this. And many software application enables the organization of data into structured form. There are uh, two types of uh, data, one is structured data, another is um, unstructured data. And so you are already familiar with the software like MS Excel. So here you can see the records are in rows and columns. Um, so columns are the fields, like you are using a, field, a, a form for collecting the data. So the fields, the data are collected and these are stored in records like in rows. So if you understand how Excel manage the table, you have a little bit idea about what is database. Now what is a relational database? In simple word, relational database when the tables are connected to each other through a primary key and a foreign key, then we call it is a relational database and uh, generally relational database management system provide you a software these software are like ms sql server then oracle database mysql or amazon shift uh, redshift these are different types of rdbms now just this general understanding is sufficient for a business analysis you will uh, also get some data in the form of apis through uh, where the data will be collected from the api through json response uh, json is a special format of data this is very useful when you want to retrieve the data via api or xml now the tools for connecting your data source to your sql here we are using the tool work branch you know your PC also had a database which is called Open Database uh, Connectivity or Audio BC Connection uh, through which your uh, major databases are connected to your PC and you don't need that much advanced level of how to make the connection 
of database to uh, a server or how, if the server access of the database is given then how to access it using a, your work branch that kind of knowledge is sufficient for a beginner level learner now if you are writing code in a language like python uh, or you are passing a sql statement in in the function as a, a string then understanding the sql uh, query is important so before learning the python you must start learning the sql relational database like uh, like you are thinking about a library where you are storing all the author information in a table and the books information in another table so when uh, you are storing this book you don't need to write the whole author name in the author section the author column is containing on the uh, the one id of this that author instead of storing the whole name you don't need to repeat the whole name again and again in the uh, table because each book record is containing one id for the author when you will uh, view the books of one author you, you will see uh, that only the books from that particular author is showing in the list so this is a kind of uh, advantage of using sql dear friends so it was our introduction we'll need to continue this class to another session and uh, we'll try to post a series on that for covering everything i have some already posted previous videos i'm adding the link in the description below so you can also check out this and wait for the next episode when we'll focus on understanding uh, sql commands and how to write sql command on your mysql work branch so remember these these softwares mysql work branch and php my admin and you can start learning sql without any special uh, paid software so let's start see you guys in the next episode